this is a routine phaco emulsification in a fairly mature uh, not that intumescent cataract and I go ahead place my 2.8 millimeter uh, initial keratome incision make two side ports and now I am fashioning my rexus with my cystitome there is no egress of fluid there is no fear of any uh, uh, Argentinian flag sign suddenly developing however oh, one has to be careful just go ahead and make a adequate rexus and everything is going on to plan the other excess is complete and I just check the rotation no need to do hydro dissection most of the times in these cases and now I go with my sharp chopper and my phaco probe the cataract is very soft it is just eating away I am not even able to get a hold on it see in fact this is I just decided not to chop I am making a trench instead and it's very easily separated. I am trying to take out one of the heminuclei. I know it's going to be difficult and look how easy it auto fractures by itself. And with hardly any effort and you see even this one I am just trying to hold it and it is fracturing it by itself and with very very minimal phaco power the job is done and there comes the cortex as well in many of these mature cataracts you will have very very sticky cortex at the phonesis and herein lies the danger see here I am you can see how much and I have just gone a little too far that was not cortex that was actually the bag coming out and see once I come out can you see the bag being lifted up there is at least two to three clockers of iatrogenically induced zonular dialysis however luckily I recognized it and then pull further come out fill the bag with OVD pushing the lax part of the bag back into position I then put in a CTR ring this you can get away without putting the CTR ring but it's better to uh, err on a safer approach and you have to be the rexus is so small if you just leave the seat here it may escape into the sulcus and so you have to make sure it goes and see how it's pulling the bag now I have to catch it by the uh, a more distal part and pull it back into the bag and then release it into the bag and this you have to do as a bimanual procedure I then go ahead rest of all is rest of the surgery is pretty routine I go ahead and uh, inject a single piece foldable directly into the bag bag is extremely stable now and uh, the finishing steps of you know removing the HPMC from the anterior chamber with my same bimanual and I close with hydrating the wounds and injecting an intracranial antibiotic. Thank you for watching.